we're going to start off talking about your side, Arsenal, Beautiful. from last night. Beautiful. What do you make of the performance? When you and I were speaking off air, you were, oh, it's only PSV, so I'm not really bothered. You came in this morning, you were talking about your players, look like R- you, you likened Jesus to R9. No. And what? then I went, hold on a minute, I, no, I thought you were playing PSV. No, what I said, first of all, it's Champions League, best club competition in the world. Right. Best uh, comp- I said that, but... The best competition. Mm. No, I said... Gabriel Jesus did this thing on the edge of the box where he chopped the defender little step over shifted it and bent it and the keeper made a good save I was like oh he looked like a prime R9 um, but also played really well Could- sorry who looked like a prime R9 Jesus that, that one particular moment I'm not saying he for- oh, you are desperate for Honestly, success aren't you he um Oh, oh, good result last night. <laughs> but no, Wait, yeah. we'll stay up. Don't worry about us. Uh, Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> that Arsenal awesome played really well to a man. Do you know what they did? They didn't allow PSV to get any kind of foothold in the game. And sometimes these games, and Arsenal, by the way, in these type of games before on a Thursday night, I found themselves wanting all of a sudden, not started a bit slow, ended up going out up in last season. Mm. It was almost like they were, do you know what? We're not, we're not leaving anything to chance. And they completely, from minute one, blew them out the blocks. Pat, it was Pat there last night? Because obviously in... in- Years gone by in that competition or the Europa League has mm. been half empty. No, it was packed in there. It was nice to have Champions League football back. Yeah. Do, do you know who was um, who played better live than I, when I watched him on the TV? Okay. Kai Havertz. Don't try and push him, Ben. I promise you. Last night, listen, this one. Of course. Who, last, who was he like? Zidane? <coughs> no, actually, Piolo. No, he wasn't. Right. Last night, he, some of his little movements, touches, and his little runs into the box, I thought. Hmm, okay. Oh, he's I'm just looking at the scores. No, he did he? score, oh. but there were times where he's making good runs yeah. and people didn't find him. Mm. But lots of, I came with Sorry, people didn't find him, so he's running into the wrong places. No, well, no, he's making good runs, but people haven't got their head up to see the run. Mm. But were, I thought, hmm, come away from that thinking. You like him now, do you? You like Kai Havertz? Well, I like him anyway, but right. my, my point is, is that I thought he played better than I expected last All night. Right. So when you can see what's going around him, he's not as bad as when you watch yes, him on the when, you're, when you're just singing him in isolation but when yeah. you watch him his movements off the ball right. not bad ok yeah no still not having him um, can you win the Champions League I think we can why not well you know why not but for me for me, City is still the team to beat and the fact that they've, that they've won it last year yeah. means that, that monkey's off their back yeah. they're calm they're, they're the team to beat but I fancy Arsenal to get a result against anyone else have you Have you got against anyone else so you include Real Madrid yeah you think Real Madrid yeah have you um have you got more chance of winning the Champions League than you have the Premier League? Yeah, but, and the reason I think yes, because with cup competitions, we've seen some teams, I think I, I think you guys last season in the League Cup, did you, was every one of your draws at home? Uh, in the competition? Yeah. The actual draw of the competition, yeah. home ties, yeah. yes. That, that, I, know, I know I've seen the Champions League home and I get all that, but do you know what I mean? You get the right tie. Yeah. When, when it's a cup competition, I think there is a little bit of luck involved as well, because it's very rare you're going to have like... Knockout stages, yeah. You're not, not going to have Real Madrid and... City and do you know what I mean sometimes you have a bit of a weaker side take last year Inter and AC mm. we all thought Napoli was going to be that team it wasn't so it, it was almost like the winner of City and Real Madrid won had it. won it yeah, yeah. so you never know with that type of thing but with the Premier League 38 games because Manchester City are relentless we, we've seen Liverpool do it go head to head with these guys to be better than Manchester City for 38 games takes some doing mm. and, and, and there's a lot of good teams in the Premier League don't get me wrong Champions League is the Champions League but you do sometimes get a, a couple of games where you go Really? Should you be in the Champions League? But with the Premier League, I think to beat City over 38 games is incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. You've got to be near and on perfect. Mm. Or, and minimum, you look at the, the, the tallies nowadays, if you don't go to 90 points, you've got no chance. Yeah. But what makes you think with Mikel Arteta you can win the Champions League? Because you won, I know you've won the FA Cup, but mm. he was only there a short amount of time. I know you I think you semi final and final. I know that. I get all that. But, beat, beat City and Chelsea. Yeah. But you're, you're, you could argue that you faded towards the end of... Well, you couldn't even argue that. That's a fact. You faded towards the end of last season's campaign. You learned from his mistakes. Well, we don't know that yet. It's only five games no, in. No, but I think he's, he's getting better and better. And You've got to think, every manager has to start somewhere, don't they? Yeah. Like, unless your name's Pep and you walk into the... Know, it's a big, ar- a big ask asking Arteta to win the Champions League first time round. I, I understand that, but great, straight, Leicester won the Premier League. Stranger things have happened. I don't think stranger things have happened... When Leicester won the, pre- I think that was probably the, the strangest, strangest thing in football. My, my point is, is that there's is no that the strangest re- thing ever in football? There's no reason why they it can't. Is. Like, I, I get it. It's going to be. I'm not, I'm not sitting again. They're definitely going to win. No, it. No, I know that. But, but you think you've got a chance. You're in the top three, four teams. They've got a chance of winning the Champions okay. League. I, I do think. I know you think I'm taking the Mickey out of you as an Arsenal fan, but I do think Arsenal or any club, and Man City, I include in that, of course, but they've won it now. Need to win the Champions League to be considered a big head in Europe. No, but I don't agree. I don't agree with that. Because like, I, I get it. You're I, know, talking, I know you don't because you haven't won it. No, but you're talking about one trophy, which I understand, which is it's the biggest. The, the trophy. Okay, I get that. But my point is, when you talk about a big club and someone who could die at the top table, like if a top player becomes a very. Like before Manchester City won the Champions League, yeah, 
they still had they still had the ability to sit at that top table. Yeah. I'm not and, talking about no, the size of the club. No, but, I'm talking about yeah, but Man City could sit even before they won it. I'm just talking about if there's a nightclub, yeah, and it's Champions League winners only. Yeah, okay, they not can, the Forest going in. Aston Villa yeah, going in. Ars- Man United going Ars- in. Ars- Real Madrid. Arsenal, your name's not down. I can't get that. Well, my point is, if you're talking about sitting at the top table and signing the best players around the world, Arsenal can sit at that table. I'm not. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is to be considered a European giant. Yeah, but you need to win the giant no, European Arsenal trophy. No, Arsenal still are European giant. Regardless I don't think of they are, mate. You've got are. no history in the competition. No, it doesn't matter. They're still. You've got it. no history. I've won that cup as much as Arsenal. No, but they. You've, they, you've got no. In fact, matter. sorry, sorry. You're saying, okay. You're saying Arsenal are European giants. Yeah. Right. How many times have you won a European competition? Once. Cup. Cup. Once yeah. in ninety five, oh, yeah, okay. was that right? I think so. Yeah, around that ninety five. So you're, say, you're saying, no, was it ninety four? Yeah, you're saying that a team that have won one cup in Europe in their entire history, yeah. and that was th- over th- yeah, uh, thirty years ago, yeah, nearly. Yeah, right? It's, it's you're bit, saying they're a European giant. Of course they are. Arsenal, one of the biggest clubs in the world. They're not a European giant. No, they need. You need to no, win the you European don't, cup. You don't. Arsenal are one okay. of the big... The, the European okay. Cup is... No, it, oh, well, no. Well, Aston Villa, Forrester there at the top of the tree and Arsenal. You get the best... I'm not pla- no, about no, the size, no, 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 that's important. That's important. You can't just no. go by because they've not won one trophy. No. If you talk about the size of a football club, a European I'm giant... Not, I'm not. Well, you've got a European giant... I'm not in a Forrester, European giant. Not now, they're not. No. They're, are, are they a European no. giant? Oh, they are. No, they're not. There's no they way. Are. How can you tell me not in a Forrester right now a bigger club than Arsenal? You can't. No, no, no. I didn't say that. Well, no, but, Listen to my words. No, but you're talking no, nonsense no. about one little. If you win, are, you, are it, not in the forest a European giant? The answer is yes. I'm not no. saying bigger. They're a European Who, giant. Okay, who's got more chance of attracting a totally um, different question? No, but that's not a question because it's, it's, a, it's a relevant question because a big clubs attract big players. Just because they haven't won the Champions League, not, Arsenal, you keep using consider, the word big club. I'm not. Yeah, but you're, you're talking like nonsense because no. you're talking about one little metric about you, winning a competition. You, you, how long have your being your club been going? Over hundred yeah, years. That is that right? It's if you've won club, one European cup and it's not the cup, doesn't matter. You can't. You're not. Big clubs compete for the best players in the world, and Arsenal can do that. I, I, you keep using the word big club. Because it's, it's all relevant. I'm not saying big club. It's relevant. I'm not saying big club. It's all relevant. Nottingham Is Forest okay? are a European giant, that and saying? Arsenal currently are. What's that saying? If, you, if, if I had a nightclub, and the only people that could enter this nightclub yeah. are the ones who've won the Europa Conference League, yeah. it's West Ham. It's a ridiculous question. They haven't won the Europa Conference League. Oh, Conference League. Yeah, it's a ridiculous yeah. question. Oh, enjoy that little nightclub. No, but it's a ridiculous question. No, big, it's not. Big, big clubs, uh, it's not just merit, it's about trophies. Or you winning said one that European Forest club. aren't a big European giant. They're not bigger than Arsenal. In terms of a club... Oh, no, you, you're not understanding no, no, my I'm question. No, I'm not, because it's ridiculous. Okay, in terms of... It's rubbish. In terms of European giants yeah. in football, a club that have won the European Cup twice Doesn't is matter. a giant. Doesn't matter. Arsenal Does, still does still it count for anything? Nope. A little bit, yeah. But Manchester City, before they won the Champions League, could still attract all the best players because they're a European uh, powerhouse. Uh, yeah, totally different. Totally different. You, you think you've won one trophy in your yep. entire history? Yep. Arsenal are a European giant. Okay, so you're amongst, amongst football. If there's a top table, no, okay, top European no, clubs. No, no, okay, I'll give you one. Right, Arsenal. Yeah. Name the other four European giants in the same sentence. Well, who would I? So put? we're talking European giants. You've got Arsenal. Name the next four. Uh, Madrid. Uh, United. Real Madrid. Bayern. Right. City Barcelona City Barca right. They've all won it and you haven't but you're a European joint. Yeah we're still in there Okay Talk Sport Drive Super opinionated sporting debate Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport